practical applications on head. So now we're going to show you how to train the Aquarian on head drum. Now one of the first things to mention is that when you get an Aquarian product on head, in head, or an alternate mode, um, uh, alt zone, you're going to see that there are two different possibilities of jacks that are on these instruments. The original Aquarian on head and the way Aquarian sells their products is with a male eighth inch jack. And that is because it is designed for tip sleeve. That means that it plugs into an inbox, the inbox powers the on head, and everything is cool. The Diddy doesn't require an inbox. It can be plugged directly into itself, but it requires that the Diddy use the A and B channels, a stereo jack, so that the B channel, the ring, can power the on head. In order to make this conversion, we sell this little converter um, jack that simply plugs in. And if you plug this into the Diddy, now it goes from tip sleeve to tip ring, and now it can power uh, the pad. Uh, all of the um, products that Aquarian has that sells to alternate mode uh, will have the words or a little logo that says Diddy Direct. And when it is Diddy Direct, rather than having a male post on it, it will have a female quarter inch. So when you see a female quarter inch, you know it's ready to go. You'll see a Diddy Direct label, and you just plug it into the Diddy. Now, because this is kind of short, because it was designed to go into the inbox, we need to have an extension cable. And so what we have is a connection that looks like this, that simply plugs this in, a female, it's basically it's a headphone extension jack, and then I plug this into here, and then I plug this into the Diddy. Now one thing that I stressed in the manual and that I hope that you read is that when you turn on the Diddy, the Diddy looks at all the threshold levels and sets up an idle level for every input. Why this is, is important is that FSR heads rely on pressure and therefore it has to find a zero point because even though you're not playing on the head, the sensor can sense that there's a piece of rubber on top of it. So the Diddy needs to look at that pressure that it's seeing from the rubber on top of the sensor and zero that out. So what this means is that when you're going to put a new trigger in for the first time into the Diddy, shut the Diddy off. Then when, you're ready, when you want to start training it, you turn the Diddy on. The Diddy has just done its magic and got it ready now for us to train this pad. So normally, with an Aquarian on head, we would just press the global button. And when you press the global button, because I'm dealing with the head for the first time, I would get out of automatic and work with the drum that I'm working on, which is 2A in this case. And then I would simply find the pad type. In this case, it's an on head. And the on head would there would set up the gain structures and do all of these things automatically for you. You perhaps saw that in the other video. But I'm going to do everything manually now so that you can get a feeling of how the instrument really works. So I'm going to call it a pad type on head anyway, and then I'm going to start manually moving things. When I set the pad type to on head, it knew that the 2A, the A input would be a trigger. The trigger is actually the drum. And that the B of this input would be an FSR. On head, FSR. And that means that the pad type uses both the A input and the e and B input to make this work. So that means that if you're using an FSR pad trigger, you always set the A input to trigger and the B input to FSR. So now we go back to the A, because the A is where all the action is, because um, we're going to um, um, be training the A, the actual trigger part of the drum. 